Hello and welcome, welcome back. This is Redemption Goddess, and today I am talking and covering forever chemicals that are in our drinking water. Now, I did not put these pictures in order. They're just screenshots from my phone so that I can stay on topic. I actually wanted to get a lot deeper into this. There was one specific chemical when I was listening to the broadcast and I wanted to go off and research that more. But in an effort to just give a summary of what I heard and then I'm going to link link it in the description and I also have a screenshot here. First, what you're looking at are the warnings. This is a year ago. We're not just talking about Flint, Michigan at this point. We're talking about the United States. And this specific uh, piece that I watched, it talked about 2,800 cities across the United States. That's affected, heavily affected. And our EPA, the system that we have in place to supposedly keep these types of things safe for us, these people that we are paying, they're not doing their job. They're not. I was alarmed. And I began putting some things together. Now, yes, I do have on a tinfoil hat. I put it on just before I press play. It has the point and everything. So I have my tinfoil hat on, so don't ask. But a few weeks ago, Ashton Kutcher and a few other celebrities, they come out and they say, they rarely bathe. And people were like, ew, you know. You weren't listening to them though, right? Were you listening? I don't know. I have another screenshot coming up. Two years ago, more warnings. Right here on YouTube, more warnings. But let's go back. Were they warning people? By saying they don't bathe? Because I know I enjoy a beautiful bath. I haven't called my water department and asked them anything ever. Only to pay a bill or ask questions or change service or do whatever. Never have I called the water department and asked them. I'm just trusting that they're doing their job. I pay the bill. Who calls their water department? So apparently we were supposed to be calling the water department and asking them questions, especially about these forever chemicals. Some of us live in the one of these 2,800 cities affected. We take these long baths and we think, well, I don't drink tap water, I only drink bottled water. Some of us, uh, you know, cook with bottled water and you don't really think about it. Obviously, you're washing dishes, you're you're using the tap water. Uh, okay. And you're soaking in this chemical mess myself. I'm actually gonna run some right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna run some water and bathe today, like in the next few minutes. I'm going to bathe in water that could potentially put me at risk for all types of cancers. And I've been doing this since I was a child, trusting that when you pay that water bill, they're over the job. We don't know the ins and outs of how, most of us don't know the ins and outs of this stuff. Obviously, we're not scientists. Obviously, we just, we don't know. We're just trusting in them, right? 
Okay, so this screenshot here, this top story. Forever chemicals detected in systems of nearly 28. Yeah, so that is, this is the thing that I watched and this is initially what I'm reacting to. I'm going to link that in the description box so you can go check out the full story. But here's the summary. There's a woman in there. They're talking about specifically Tucson in the Arizona area. People that lived in this specific area was exposed to these forever chemicals, one in particular. The EPA is dragging their feet. There's a bunch of folks out here fighting a fight that we didn't even know we were supposed to be fighting. All this time that we spend either fighting each other Talking, joking, laughing, entertaining. And real shit is going on. I cannot wait to finish this, edit this, push this out <clears throat> because I'm going to go find my water bill. Now, I was told as a selling point for this area that this is some of the best water in the country, blah, blah, blah. I hope they was not lying. But listen, I don't know about you. You need to go find your water bill and call these people and ask some questions. It's specifically about forever chemicals, specifically about any new or innovative things they have going on that's going to protect you. Do they have anything in place? What is their budget? Ask these things because you pay your bill faithfully. Anyway, in this story that I'm reacting to, this woman in the Tucson area, they grew up obviously bathing and drinking the water, drinking out of the hose, going to swimming pools, living life, being a child, drinking the water. Now she is older. I think they said 40 some years later. She has a rare blood cancer, which, thank the most high, it is in remission. Her sister still lives in, I think her sister, her mom, still lives in the area. There are supposedly 2,800, we know it's probably way more than that, 2,800 cities in the United States that are affected by that one chemical. And we're not even going to get into all the other mess. But listen. These things are being profiled and talked about. But they're falling on deaf ears in the black community. And in whatever other community that's not talking about it. Because these are the things that are important. I don't give a damn. Truthfully. About what another person does in their home. In the privacy of their own home. What goes on between consenting adults. I don't care about people's income. I really don't. The entertainment is fun. It is. Ha ha. He he. To laugh every now and again. It is beautiful to laugh. I make myself laugh. I force a laugh. Some of this stuff seems so way out of our power. But you have to listen to the dog whistles. They drop crumbs and bread crumbs and things like that to each other. If you trace stuff back to the eugenics era era, a lot of these people are still carrying these theories along with them. So of course, they're not going to tell you shit. And then they think you dumb, so they think you're not going to go find it anyway, so just go ahead and die off. Good. More for us. You lose your house in the tax sale, some cash buyer comes and gets it. You lose your house because of property taxes. You lose your house just because you can't pay the bills. You lose your house because you didn't die to some rare blood disease brought on by the water you've been drinking your whole life or being exposed to your whole life. And your children don't have the, the, the means to hang on to the house. A cash buyer comes and purchases your house and your wealth is transferred now. Now, I don't want to be all doom and gloom. 
uh, based on my research. Uh, now, this I have looked up and researched, but based on my research, they say dark fruits and vegetables. Anything deep and dark in color, dark grapes, uh, all the dark fruits you can think of. I don't want to go through them all, but consuming them regularly, daily, a couple times a day, exercising, drinking lots of water. But if it's in your blood, you start thinking about blood. Now think about circulation. Think about beats. Things that are good for your blood and, and blood circulation. So I'm not saying that it will cure you and you're not going to have cancer. But these are anti-cancerous or I'm sorry, uh, anti-cancer, anti-aging type foods. Broccoli, spinach, red pepper, habanero, chili peppers. All of these types of things you consume and you need to also contact your water department if you're moving contact the water departments for that district or whatever start getting proactive about the things that you think you have no say so in of course you have no say so in it if you're not proactive this story was heartbreaking but one thing that I noticed in this story they didn't feature any black people in this story. But I've seen other stories where they documented towns that featured black people with undrinkable water. Now, many of us already knew this. I didn't. I've, e I've eaten plenty of this popcorn. This is why I, <laughs> I try to eat these dark fruits and vegetables and foods that I'm telling you about because I'm already knowing I've been exposed to cancer causing mess. In my lifetime, we've all maybe have had some of this, but now we know better. You know, we know better. The reusable containers you're seeing now BPH free. You're seeing that the the companies are stepping up, providing the consumers with the things that they need, providing another option. We used to didn't have too many options. We have lots of options. We just have to educate ourselves on the options push the crappy companies out of business that are, you know, polluting and do it. Why you think they moved out? Everybody crying about them jobs that moved overseas. You may want to sit back and think of the ramifications of that. Yeah, you lost money, but think of all of the people those companies are killing, actively killing day to day with that waste. And that would be in your backyard. And it's, it's in our backyard. A lot of this stuff is coming. The chemical is produced and leaked into the ground. I'm sorry, not produced, but it's in uh, the foam that they use to put out fires. It leaks into the groundwater. Um, these screenshots kind of educate you a little bit more of where these chem this chemical is found. Okay. Now, I wanted to research the specific chemical that they talked about in the uh, ABC uh, interview with the lady. And they talked specifically about Arizona. And again, these was all white people affected. And they say it was hundreds. Now, they had to settle with these people and give these people some money. This is where I got that information from. Cleanwateraction.org, I believe I'll link that in the description too, because it gives you some information on how you can begin, what questions you need to ask and things like that, and, and who you need to call and what questions and how you go about figuring out what you're working with. Because you may, you may have to uh, sacrifice now, if you want to take baths and stuff like that, are you going to go buy, you know, 15 gallons of water and pour them in a tub for one bath? That tap, you know, another thing is, you know, people know that the water shortage is real. I mean, because it just still runs out of your tap, it hasn't dawned on you yet. 
Be because you can go buy it at the store, it hasn't dawned on you yet. You don't know the source of any of that water. That could be toilet water we drinking all we know. Labeled as whatever. You know, that's why it's important to educate yourself where you spending your money. I would rather swallow spit. <laughs> okay. I would rather just swallow spit. Stick my tongue out. Produce some saliva and swallow it. I, I It takes me a long time in the grocery store. I'm sitting there reading everything. I'm reading everything. Give me a one of those magnifying glasses so I can read all the little fine print and everything that y'all have on here. Because they have to put it on there. That's why I'm really hesitant to buy things wholesale. Wholesale from who? I have a bunch of jars that I can slap labels on and throw some gunk in there and sell it. You, you have no idea what the hell I'm selling. You have no idea what I've done in there and what, what and whatever. You know, that's why when people tell me they making soap out their house and all this, I want to support you, baby. But you know what? I support you by investing in you so you can get your establishment sanitized and together and get, get it going right. So it don't be bootleg and you don't get nobody sick, get nobody no rashes or whatever. I would much rather give you a thousand dollars to help you get toward, you know, towards a facility, do something. Cause no, I don't want no bath soap out your house. I don't want really no food out of nobody's house. Do you clean behind your refrigerator and your stove once a month or is it gross? You know, while I'm talking mess, I got to go do mine myself right. You know, I got to do it. It's the middle of the week. I'll probably do it this Saturday. But honey, no, I don't want nothing out your house. And I don't want nothing from no lady with no long nails. Please, please, please. No. See, but why you talk while I'm talking mess? These large corporations and the, and the larger scale production of things is what's producing a lot of this waste. This waste, these chemicals are going directly into the groundwater. And just think about these third world countries where they done put these factories, went over there. They are literally just killing their people off. And they know. They know it. I don't know how some of these people sleep at night. I don't know how you sleep at night. If you did an overhaul on some of the, a lot of these companies, especially the ones that's doing mass production, the ones that's handling our food, you know, they done already went and showed you how they do the animals, all of this stuff. And now you have companies capitalizing off of that. They're saying, yay, we're humane and look, we're not producing chemical. I mean, nobody, you, nobody should be even patting you on the back. You should have been doing that from the beginning. But anyway, we pat them on the back and give them more money and and pay more. They jack the price up for producing it right. These people are sinister and they bet on us fighting each other day in and day out. Black against white, man against woman, old against young. Right? Girl against boy. Even in school, they fighting. Even all the way down at the grade school level, they fight each other. You know, uneducated, educated. <laughs> Smart, dumb. These are just words that we classify people as, which, you know, in many cases are hardly re relevant. They're just natural description. Man, woman, what does that even make sense? Why, why should we be fighting? That don't even make sense. But folks like conflict. They enjoy conflict. People enjoy that. The real shit, the real fights. Like getting 30 million people together to just call the water, just one task, calling a water company. And asking about these chemicals. Can you get 30 million people to do that? Can you get 150 million people to do that? Just sit down. Take 20, 30 minutes out of the day. And call a water company. Oh honey, that water be so crystal clear. They'll be up in the sky gathering up new water. 
They are finding ways to, to find more water to sell. Look, y'all, we got some clean water for you. No chemicals. Yeah, we're going to be paying more. Because they done went and did the right thing. And so now we got to go pay them more. I don't care. As long as they clean it up. Ashton Kutcher and them, they coming out talking about they don't take showers. Hmm. What are they really saying? Don't sit your ass in that water. Is that what they dog whistling their friends? Y'all don't, don't. Mm -mm. This water is contaminated. Y'all better go get y'all water. Go filter y'all systems. Go solar panel burn. Whatever y'all going to do with the sun or something. But don't sit your butt in no tap water. Is, is Was that what they were saying? Do they pour a gallon of water in the <laughs> in the tub and wash their face and brush their teeth and handle all their business? Because <laughs> they scared of that tap water. Hmm. <laughs> I, I'm like, I, hey, I got my tinfoil hat on. I'm connecting. I'm connecting the dots. I'm laughing and I'm dead serious at the same time. Is it some type of warning going out that this water is just heavily contaminated and we shouldn't even be using it? And then uh, they just let it go for what, two years or however many years they've been letting it go? Or just trying to see who drop off? Come through, buy up the property, huh? Buy up the land. Get the little assets, right? Get the unclaimed life insurance money. Because you know, a lot of people have life insurance money. They don't even have children or nothing. And y'all hear these states swear up and down. They so broke. These counties and states, they ain't got no money. They broke, they broke. Do you know how much money they seize? How much money just fall in their hands? Out the blue. Say it ain't so, Sam. It's, it, say it ain't so. Yes, plenty of people have life insurance money, don't have any children. They die. What the county do, y'all? Supposedly, it's some unclaimed money website. Don't fall for that shit. <laughs> plenty of folks. People die unexpected. They don't have any siblings, parents dead. What What you think happened to their property and their stuff? Oh, they got plenty. They have plenty. Do you it, only if you knew the universe was set up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> only if you knew, honey, it's plenty, it's plenty, it's plenty. Greedy ass people, however, sinister people. They know stuff. I mean, just imagine not telling folks that they drink and water is jacked up for some years, and and the effects don't come on until 40 years later. You sitting up here with some rare blood cancer. And all these motherfuckers will have to say is oops. Oops. Somebody will stand up there and write, read something. They, we apologize for our past transgressions. Oh, Lordy B. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, comment below. What do you think? You know what? I'm just going to add this here at the end. So, Andrew Wheeler... Uh, was confirmed uh, as a Trump era Senate. I'm sorry, confirmed by the Senate as a Trump era EPA, right? But this article says 2019. So who was the head? We the head of the EPA now is a black dude, right? So that'll probably be my next vid, y'all. I'm going to lay out all of these EPA folks. This is the guy confirmed as of now for Biden and this is his bio and all of that right you can check that out but the EPA is who says how much of these chemicals are allowed in this water and they're doing all this testing and slow dragging and slow dragging and the water <sighs> y'all I'm telling you this is so crazy this is so crazy how they do us and if you are not like mega rich and you can just pick these areas that, you know, have great drinking water and oh, oh, one thing before I go, they say if you live by a military base, your water is likely contaminated. 
highly likely to be contaminated. So all of y'all that live by military bases, y'all might need to relocate. And I'll dig into this as much as possible because I want to know. I really want to know. This is just inhumane, y'all. But anyway, tell me what you think in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, and I'm gone for real this time. Thank you for listening.